So the new Cyberpunk 2077 1.1 patch has seemingly made the game even worse for a alarming amount of people. This game is becoming a sick joke at this point, especially for channels that cover what is generally going on within the gaming industry like my own. Cyberpunk is like an increasingly worsening sore thumb. Every time you think it's died down and possibly even over and maybe something else in the gaming industry other than cyberpunk can pop up to cover, suddenly that thumb becomes even more swollen than before and you have to get it checked by some thumb doctor. Now already memes are swirling online about this patch because it seems to have blatantly ignored a huge amount of the game's biggest problems as well as even making some more game breaking bugs. So, this patch. It's still early, the update only released a few hours ago at the time of writing and recording this video, so it's still unclear why this is happening to people, but some of the problems this patch is causing are pretty concerning. Not only because of the problems being concerning, but also this is meant to be the first patch of two major patches that are meant to significantly improve the state of the game, according to the CDPR apology video. So it's very concerning that the first major game fixing patch is causing some of these big issues and making parts of the game far worse and sections completely unplayable for some people which we will get into the patch is around seven gigabytes on steam and it's around 17 gigabytes on console so a pretty hefty patch and this is for virtually only performance and bug fixes as far as we can tell this isn't new content or animations or textures or anything like that judging from the patch notes which we'll get into in a second so it's a pretty big patch just for bugs and performance fixes though if you played the game especially if you've played the game on console this won't come as a surprise even in the slightest fortune favors the stupid too now what I'm gonna ask for a refund. So a quick look at the Cyberpunk 1.1 patch thread in the PC gaming subreddit quickly reveals the host of people with problems. It is important to note that if you're watching this video later, these problems might not exist anymore as with any of these bugs, but they definitely exist for some of the people here. And for some, it's disabling the ability for them to cool their vehicle, the game crashing more frequently. For some, it's even crashing before the game can properly boost up. And one of the biggest issues that everyone across the board seems to be experiencing is Takamura calling them and not speaking at all as soon as the game loads. Even reloading saves doesn't seem to fix this and this has caused a ton of <laughs> pretty hilarious memes. He essentially just sits there and doesn't say anything to you on the phone call. You can't close it, you can't respond, you can't do anything, reloading doesn't fix it. So this is a huge problem. And here are just some of the threads of people complaining in the Cyberpunk subreddit. Patch note thread. A lot of people complaining that this is really realistically only a hotfix rather than this major update that CDPR seemed to be marketing it as in their apology video. We decided to focus on the most important fixes and updates first and we'll be releasing the DLCs afterwards. A lot of people saying as soon as Martin Lewinsky mentioned that they are proud of the PC version of the game. We hit the ground running with a really good start on PC. While not perfect, it's a version of Cyberpunk we are very proud of. He tried it. <laughs> That put up a lot of red flags for a lot of people and them completely ignoring or not even bothering to bring up the state of the game on PC. So it comes as not really a surprise for a lot of people, but also incredibly frustrating after they said that this was gonna be a major update fixing a lot of the game. And people have already listed a ton of the completely ignored huge bugs in the game, as you're seeing on screen right now. These are major bugs with the AI, major bugs with texture popping, major bugs with performance that they have completely ignored in these patch notes. This might come in the second major patch, but considering this patch wasn't all that major and was more of a hot fix, as a lot of people are claiming, it is definitely concerning for some of these bigger problems with the AI because it seems like this is hardwired into how the AI work. They seem to be on a track they don't move around cars, they don't problem solve. This video by Crobcat greatly demonstrates that an issue like this would require a lot of reworking and actual work being put in to redoing this whole AI system. This could be something that just never gets fixed in this game's life cycle. So here's a little side mention, here's a clip 
of the NPCs just being still bugged to all hell, refusing to go up a flight of stairs and just turning around and staying on this loop track that they can't get off of. Again, another example of just something that CDPR has seemingly just completely ignored and even bothered to acknowledge in the slightest. Now, though the patch notes don't seem to mention any fixes to NPCs, so this wasn't really an expected fix, but good lord, I really do hope they address this in at least the next patch. But like I said, it would seemingly require a reworking of how the AI function in the game. And I honestly can't believe how this is happening. I think a huge chunk of the staff at CDPR just straight up don't care anymore. Like imagine being forced to crunch overtime for weeks and weeks, and also in some cases, even being underpaid for that crunch to work on a game that was meant to be ready as the developers claimed it was meant to be ready in 2022, and then finally being able to go home for Christmas and then receiving death threats throughout the holidays and then come back to have upper management setting definitive release dates once again for huge patches that would require a huge overhaul to a lot of the game and the game engine and then are forced to go back into a crunch state after Christmas to get these patches done and get them out in time because upper management made a bunch of promises in a shitty apology video. So I wouldn't be surprised if people are just quitting or refusing to work or just being lazy because they are probably a lot of developers right now are just questioning even working at CDPR. Already people have quit because of this and quit because of the game's development as a whole. It looks like maybe these patches just can't be finished in time so we're getting problems like those previously outlined on Reddit. Also this is the part where I'm meant to say hey smash like button grease up them cheeks and slap that subscribe button but I'm not gonna do that because I'm not like the rest of the influencers from my country. So if you're enjoying the video so far, maybe a like would be much appreciated. Maybe a sub if you want more content like this. If you don't, I don't blame you. Obviously, a lot of this goes directly against the entire point of this patch. And in fairness, besides some of these big issues caused by the patch, it does seem like a good chunk of common bugs seem to have been fixed. The major ones being ignored, but there's a lot of fixes within these patch notes. As you can see here are just some of the bug fixes in this patch. So hopefully this patch has done more good than bad, but time will tell because it's still early. I think this update is definitely concerning for the future of the game this isn't a major update or anything they were hyping it up to be so it does look like they can't even deliver on these patches and i don't know what's going to happen with the dlc i wouldn't be surprised if the dlc is also lazy content and some basic expansions to maybe the map if we're lucky so to be honest i am not at all excited for the future of this game at this point i think eventually people are just going to get bored and they are going to move on better games will come out there's a lot of good games coming out soon god of War Ragnarok, a possible new Spider-Man game. There's just better games to look forward to uh, than hoping this broken buggy one gets fixed because I think a lot of it is beyond repair at this point. If you have updated, please drop your comments down below and tell me how it's playing for you. If you've encountered any problems or noticed any improvements, please feel free to comment down below your experience with the update so far. And if you are looking forward to update 1.2, I'm not really. I still want a refund on PC because because us PC players weren't allowed a refund if you've played more than two hours. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video or liked my take at all, or are glad to have someone reporting on the issues that 1.1 patch is causing, please feel free to leave a like down below and maybe a sub if you want more content like this in the future. It would be greatly appreciated. I work very hard on these videos. This is what an editing timeline looks like for a video like this. I do this all myself. I write the scripts. I edit. I do everything here myself. So a like would be much appreciated. And maybe a sub if you want more content like this. Thank you very much for giving me some time to talk about something i wanted to talk about i really do appreciate it and i'll see you guys in the next one peace bye bye